Hey y'all, it's your favorite auntie. <laughs> Yo, why do I really look like an auntie right now? I mean, I am an auntie, so you already know what it is. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you and welcome back to my health channel here. Here we are because health of course but you know bex 21 y'all know who it is okay whatever i'm here with a special announcement for you guys okay i know that i have been dibbling and dabbling in different type of herbs and different type of solutions since i was diagnosed with pcos okay because we don't claim her okay we don't claim it okay she, she's over there. But since I've been diagnosed, I've been coming up with different methods, testing different things, kind of seeing what works and what doesn't work with myself. Um, and in, in that transition, I've come across many of drugs, herbs and non-herbs. Uh, so I guess I could talk a little bit about that, especially if you are new here. Um, in 2015, I was diagnosed with PCOS, okay, or polycystic ovary syndrome. Essentially, it's a hormonal imbalance that makes you gain weight, makes you grow hair. Um, it's kind of like what I like to say is PMS all the time, okay, but you're not angry all the time, but it's PMS all the time. Does that make sense for y'all? Okay. Um, but you know it's not a end all be all it's not a death sentence because that's the way the doctors like to pull it to you oh well there's no cure and you're just baby i wanted to cry in the office i was like what like you're telling me in 2015 uh i don't know i was young 20 okay bitch I ain't gonna do the math for y'all. Anyway, I was a young 20 year old and you know, I really thought my life was over. I thought if I ever wanted to have children that I never could. I thought I was gonna be fat forever. I thought I was never gonna lose weight. I just, the world was gonna end, okay, in that moment. Um, and so I was given metformin. <laughs> yeah, metformin they give to diabetics essentially, but the metformin, it did nothing for my hormones. Okay, um, so it was like, why are you giving me this? And then after that wasn't working, what did they give me? Spirolactone, okay? Um, it's another like insulin type based thing, but the thing about me, I don't have any insulin or diabetes, diabetic, none of that diet shit, okay, bitch, just a diet. You hear me? <laughs> but yeah, it, it really didn't make sense. And I understand that they give that for people who have irregular menstrual cycles. I only had irregular menstrual cycles because I was on birth control. And I'm gonna say this to the day I die, baby. Birth control gave me PCOS. Birth control is the agent. Birth control is death. Do not get your ass on no damn birth control. Take your ass off that shit. There's plenty and plenty of natural methods that you can take for birth control. Like, and I'm dead ass. Okay, if you know your body well enough, you'll be able to understand your ovulation cycle when you're, like, you, you don't need it. You don't need it, you don't need it, okay? But after I got off those things, because they just weren't working for me. Got some on the eyelash. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh-uh, not the cat hair. Y'all dirty. I'm taking out a groomer. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're back. You know, through my journey, I got on like decrinal insanol and I was taking insanols and things of that sort. But, you know, for me, I really wanted to try to find a 100% natural method. And that was very very important for me to find something that is natural that actually works for us there are plenty of herbs and secrets and things of that sort that don't really work for us or don't really um don't help the womb bitch can i be honest okay can i be honest it doesn't work through long term you know you want to find something natural so let's just say this entire shit shuts down bitch okay i want to be able to go into nature or get somebody who's already in the nature, okay, and pay them or barter my service for that herb, okay? We can't do that with the di decrinal insanol, baby. It, it, won't, it won't work, okay? They, the CDC talked about zombies and shit, okay? I, I done been told y'all about the nat natural methods and we needed to switch. So it's, it's about that 
time, baby, that we get in these natural methods. Okay. So through this journey, I found my favorite herb, my favorite thing that I suggest to everybody, that I give everybody. You know, I I've preached this to the rooftops, baby. To the rooftops. Yo, I really like this in real life, okay? But here it is, my favorite, ultra favorite, special place in my heart, black cohosh, or cohosh, I think it's cohosh. Cohosh, 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 kaka, 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 okay? Uh, <laughs> Y'all, I'm childish, okay? I'm the fun auntie, all right? Um, but anyway, this is the vegan version here, which every time you buy a supplement, bitch, you want to get the vegan version. Why? Because they add a whole bunch of different shit to it. This don't have not a nan thing. No soy, no wheat, none of this extra shit that's causing us to gain weight, that's causing us problems, that's causing us issues. This is free of that, okay? So, that's why I love this, okay? But, as you can see, bitch, it's unopened. Um, and that's because we kind of traded her out. Yeah, bitch. We, we've upgraded. Okay, so I was doing some herb searches, you know, on, like that on the computer and shit. You know how, you know how we be clicking for unnecessary, just, okay, just unnecessary, but be doing it, right? So, <laughs> I was looking at some herbs and I was like, you know what? I want to switch it up. And so I've been trying this for the past few days. The first day or two, I had a headache. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I had a headache and I was like, whoa, this is intense. But it's like, now that I've had it, my, my cool cool is, is popping. Can I be honest? Like the ovulation cycle, we know how that be going, okay? Um, without TMI. <laughs> Without being TMI, my ovulation has been like spot on, like every time. My cycles have been spot on every time. I don't have to be like, oh my god, I'm missing my cycle. Oh, I forgot about my cycle. Like, baby, it comes on time now, like every time. And you know, it's hard to take these pills because you have to take these three times a day. You have to take one three times a day. And sometimes, you know... Some people have kids, you know, you babysitting, okay, you, you meditating, you got children like this. You got children, you know what I mean? And then they, they be wanting to play, they, they need to eat, they need some water, you know what I mean? And it's like, you can't get nothing done. You know, you gotta cook and then like, oh shit, it's 10 p.m. and I forgot to take one. And so you don't even get the full effects of everything. Say hi, right here. Leo. Right here. Right here, hey, uh, 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 uh. you know he a little, he a little special, okay? And I'm not lying, by the way. <laughs> but we love him anyway. Leo, hey, shh. up here, look. He he got in trouble earlier because he did something bad, so now he he's acting weird. Say hi. Okay, you can go. Anyway, um, so I traded and I kind of upgraded for this which is black co-wash in liquid form, baby. What you thought I was gonna say that we got rid of black co-wash? <laughs> you thought, bitch. You really thought. You thought. You think You think you're funny. No, 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 You think you're funny. Psych, bitch. Hell no, we ain't getting rid of this. Okay. <laughs> this by far has been my favorite herb, um, favorite everything, to be honest. But... I like this one because you only have to take it two times a day, okay? It, I will say there is a taste, okay? So make sure you have some juice of some sort. Get you a natural juice, maybe some cranberry juice because, you know, cranberry juice is good for the kum kum. That remind me, baby, I think I'm due for a little bit of cranberry juice right now. So, you know, make sure you have you some cranberry juice, some something to, something to kind of, you know, swallow this down because what does it taste like at first? Like it smells like cigarettes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Because that's one thing we don't do here is lie. I don't lie. So it does smell like cigarettes. It tastes like honey and like blue agave at the same time when you first take it. 
then it tastes like tree bark okay so you want to make sure you have some juice or something to swallow it down it says with a small amount of water just do the water real quick and then follow it back with juice but it's nothing to make you i mean if your gag reflex is on 10 like me then you won't have to worry about it you know <laughs> you don't have to worry about it but i really do like this alternative because i can remember it it's easier for me to take i take let like i don't know but this one i feel like my body absorbs it better so if you're having issues or this black co-wash here is not working for you or you're just starting your pcos journey and you want to like you know experiment you know maybe do both like I, I don't mean both at the same time bitch but you know do both you know of course consult your doctor um i I don't really like consulting the doctors because they act like they have no clue what PCOS fucking is. And they'd be like, oh, well, I don't see it could do any harm, so go ahead and take it. Bitch, you should be well versed on the herbs, everything. This is why we need to go to herbal doctors and not go to these motherfuckers anymore. Do you hear me? Because they don't they don't know a, a, a pen from a pencil, okay? It's sad. It's truly sad. Like... I've literally taught my doctor about my PCOS, about allergies, about my asthma. Like, how the fuck am I teaching you about me and what I need to tell, what was working for me? What? Why? Why am I telling you how to treat something? How many years you don't went to the... Okay. But I do like my doctor because, he, you know, he does believe in God and, you know, he, he, he trusts me. If I ask or say I need something or whatever, I can get it, you know. So I do like that or whatever, but I, maybe I ain't scamming, so don't ask me for no good pills. Do you hear me? <clears throat> Got a little <clears throat> now. Anyway, um, so I hope that you guys upgrade like I did and start taking this one. It is very good. Make sure if you guys do want to do a liquid, no alcohol, please. Make sure these say no alcohol because a lot of times these ones have alcohol in it. This one's also gluten-free. You know, most of the people with PCOS shouldn't be having gluten anyway. No wheat. Bitch, you know you shouldn't be having no wheat, okay? So, this one is really good. It's a good option. Pur purified water. Um, you have black co-wash and vegetable glycerin. That's it, okay? So, it's really not much extra added into the herbs. So, that's why I like those. But make sure if you, if you can't find this one, I'll leave it down below. But if you can't find this one, get you an alcohol-free liquid version because... Baby, the ones with alcohol make you taste like taste like you taking a, a a shot of some 99 proof uh uh what is that shit Everclear? Mm mm, they're nasty. Um yeah, but I hope this was very informative for you guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys take uh heed to my warnings, okay? Because y'all know I didn't put y'all on and help y'all so far, okay? And we've only started, baby. We've only started, okay? So yeah, um I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.